Welcome back to another Beast Talks video. Today we're going to talk about how you need to just restart as many times as you need to. Let me tell you something. I don't care how many times you fail, but as long as you're willing to get up and do it again and again and again, all because you know you're aligned with your purpose and all because God is telling you, hey, this is a part of your path. Not going to school, not listening to what your mom and dad wants you to be, not listening to what Jim and Terry and all these other people want you to be. When you decide to listen to yourself, big homie, that's when you're walking. That's when you're talking the way you need to be. That's when you're being the man that you've always needed. Not listening to everybody else. You think you have to get validation through all these people. No, you get validation through your habits, through what you choose to do when you wake up in the morning. When that 4 a.m. alarm wakes up, uh, goes off, you get up and you go hard until it's 10 p.m., 11 p.m., and you do it all again. That's because you validate yourself through your actions. Everyone else is looking for validation. I know dudes out there right now. I know females out there right now trying to get that validation through these. Let me get this relationship or let me get this sex. Let me do this. Let me do that. Everybody's just they're trying to get attention in ways. And, and guess what? They don't even love themselves. They're, that's why they can't handle the attention when they do get it, because they don't even love themselves enough. Please understand. This is real game. Real game. Most dudes don't hear this shit. You need to understand that if I don't put in the work, if I don't start over as many times as I need to, if I don't give it everything I got, I'm not going to be the man that I've always needed. I'm not. But if you are willing to just break yourself and suffer every day, and I'm talking about in a positive way, not nothing stupid, because you're going to suffer. It's, it's, it's two ways to suffer. You can suffer with comfort or you can suffer with discipline. And it's up to you, bro. It's up to you. I'm on one today. I'm on one today. You know why? Because I believe in myself. And you should too. I'm not calling you out, bro. I'm calling you up. You know why? Because winners never quit and quitters never win, big homie. So when you look yourself in the mirror today and say, hey, damn, I'm worth this shit. I need to start. What do I need to break myself down so I can build myself back up? Most dudes ain't willing to do that every day, man. Oh, let me go smoke a thick point five. Let me go chase this lady. Let me go do this. No, nah, bro. That, that shit don't validate me. It don't make me who I am. It don't. And I try to say, I said this in the video yesterday, bro. I said, your ego should motivate you, but it shouldn't be too big to where you just think you better for the sake of being there. No, you need to think you the best because you put in the work. Because you put in the fucking habits. You showed up. You developed yourself more than anybody else. That's, what, that's the reason you can be better. That's the reason you can show up. That's the reason you can be on top. Because life is a competition. Please don't ever forget that. Some of you do some mistake in that shit. Life is a competition. Who's going to be the best? They do judge you by the fucking, the cover on your book. They do judge you by that shit, man. They lie to you and say they don't. They do. Everyone is. If a homeless man walks into a five-star restaurant, they're not going to let him in. But then you're like, oh, don't judge the book by its cover. No, they ain't going to let him in, are they? That's what I thought, man. That's exactly what I thought. It's time to fucking work on yourself. It's time to work. And I don't care nothing about the tone on this video. I don't care how you feel about it. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because the truth is the truth. If you like it, you like it, you're going to listen, man. And I say this stuff because, bro, all of you dudes out there have a purpose. And no purpose is greater than another one. Because God created you to have that purpose. But you're not living it. You're not walking it. You're not talking it. Because you don't believe in yourself. When you restart and you're willing to do something over and over and over again. That's because you believe in yourself. We're not weak men. We're not broken men. We're not. Stop showing them weakness, bro. Stop. Everybody cry. Everybody get upset. Go get yourself together and come back harder and stronger. I got stuff I got to work on just like you, bro. Just like you. But if you don't lock in and try your hardest every damn day, this shit is not going to work because God wants to know that you're willing to put in the work and trust in him. And that's been my problem. It's not that I wasn't putting in the work or showing up every day. It was the fact that I didn't trust him. Now I'm trusting them because my habits are aligned with the person that I need. The person I need to be. I need to be this man. That's why I won't accept anything less. Listen, I'm telling you, I won't accept anything less ever again. Ever again. If I'm showing up every day, going to the gym, I, won't ex I, won't, I will not accept anything less than me showing up and going to the gym. 
If I'm posting videos every day, I will not accept anything less than me posting videos every day. If I'm in a relationship with a girl, I will not accept anything below respect. I won't. You will respect me and I, because I respect myself. If I'm in a friendship with a dude, guess what? I won't accept anything below respect because I respect myself. Please understand this, bro. Wake up, bro. Get off TikTok for a little while. Get off Instagram, get off Snap, and just listen to yourself. What do I want? How, what are my principles? What are my standards? What do I go by? What do I believe in? What's my system? What's my daily programming? And once you get that understood, you're going to be like, man, I'm so much more than what I really thought I was. Yesterday, man, I, I'm going to tell you something. I said, I'm going to turn everything off. And I usually do this about once a day. I'm going to turn everything off for at least 30 minutes. I got down on my, my freaking my, my knees and, and I got across the bed. You know, you know, you got, you got your, your two hands on top of the bed. And, you know, you got, you're in a prayer position. And you're sitting there. And I'm just like, God, I don't even know what to say. But it was this voice going. And God was like, peace, peace. Peace. He said it three times in the back of my head. I get the chill saying this shit. And for 30 minutes, I sat in that prayer position. And it was like I didn't think about anything. I felt so free because I was aligned with my purpose at the time. I was just in the moment. I was present. And all I felt was God's spirit. And I said, you know what? God is that good. I can finally start to understand who I am. I can turn off all distractions. I can block out the whole world and understand what person I am. And when I started doing that, my confidence started coming back. I started believing in myself. That 30 minutes of complete peace. There was no distractions. Nobody was in the house to bother me, to talk to me, to interrupt my prayer. It was the biggest blessing. The biggest. Learn who you are. Respect your motherfucking self and restart as many times as you need to, man. Because guess what? Life doesn't get easier. When you take a leap of faith, it's a leap of faith. When you take a risk, it's a risk. When you do some uncomfortable shit, it's uncomfortable. I don't care if you're a billionaire, a millionaire, you're broke, you got $5, it doesn't matter, man. When you take a risk, it's a risk. But do you believe in yourself enough? And if it fails, do you believe in yourself enough to restart, man? Do you? Do you? You got to make this shit happen, bro. You got to make it happen. And it's just a wake-up call. It's just a fucking wake-up call, bro. Because you already been knowing. You already been knowing you got to put in the work. You already see yourself as a, on a higher high. So go get it. Go get it, bro. Go get it. See, like, I'm 19, 20, so I got, I got to go get mines. I got to go get mines. I don't want to be a shout-out 30, 40, 50-year-old man or woman. I don't. I want to have that shit. I want to win. I want to have that relationship with God. I'm going to have the woman beside me that respects me. I'm going to have my financials together. I'm going to be a proper leader. And I'm going to be one of, one of God's warriors, man. One of God's warriors. I have to be. It's a promise I made to myself. And once you do that, and you make that promise, never go back on it. You know it's love. We never miss. If you need help with self-development, click the link down below. It's time to get started. Training, nutrition, mindset, habits. Let's fucking go.